Today is Tuesday, January 30th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Carolyn Meyer. Police entered their second day of negotiations on Tuesday with a man holed up in a hotel room on the University of Minnesota campus after officers tried to the arrest the man on warrant out of Arizona. University Police Chief Matt Clark has declined to say whether the suspect was armed. A woman who had been with the man in the sixth floor room was released was released late Monday, though police were not calling it a hostage situation. Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Tuesday the Trump administration made a hostile step when it published a list of Russian businessmen and, polit and politicians as part of a sanction law against Moscow. The list, which was ordered by Congress in response to Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential campaign, had, inf had induced fear among Russians that it could lead to U.S. sanctions or informal exclusion from the global financial system. But the U.S. surprised observers by announcing that it had not decided to punish anybody under the new sanction, at least for now. A New Jersey community has raised enough money to send a beloved school bus driver and die-hard Philadelphia Eagle fan to the Super Bowl. Parents Amy and Isaac Smith wanted to raise money as a way to thank Gary Kelmer for his daily kindness. They raised more than $5,000 to send Kelmer and his wife to the Super Bowl in Minneapolis. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Carolyn Meyer.